Hey guys, welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here with me today. This is going to be Take It Off Thursday, all about getting rid of the weight. So stay tuned. We got a great show for you today. <laughs> Okay guys, so if you've been following me, you know I've been on a journey to lose weight. And let me tell you, my journey started months ago. I mean, probably years ago, years ago. And I've tried new things. Well, I have finally found a program that was work for me. And I shared it on one of our live videos. But I know not everybody can afford this program. And I think if you just incorporate the the meal portion of this program, which is what you fix at home, if you just start cooking a little differently, you will see a difference in your weight. In fact, Bryant is not doing the same program with me, but he is eating what I eat at night. When I fix my full-blown lean and green meal, he eats that with me. And he has already lost like 13 to 15 pounds, maybe more. So, I thought what I would do is just each night video briefly what we're eating. I'm not going to show you me fixing it or anything like that because I know that may not be interesting to those who could care less about losing weight. But for those of the, you that do care, it'll give you some ideas of what you could fix for supper. Now, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. I had tons of comments of people wanting to know how to make the cauliflower crust. So at the end of this video, I will show you how to make the cauliflower crust. So don't go anywhere. Uh, go through sitting through our nightly supper. We just show you what we're eating and we may taste it for you. And then at the end of the video, I will show you how to make the cauliflower pizza crust. And it is so good. Hey guys. Can't see us. There you go. There we are. Tonight, you go ahead. You keep talking. we're eating healthy, and so I thought we'd share with you what we're eating. First of all, check out the size of this bowl. Look at the size of his bowl. Big bowl. These are serving bowls. And so, and I've weighed everything out because I have to weigh my stuff out. And he, I just made his identical to mine. But look at that. Does that look healthy? I mean, look at that creamy dressing. And so, let me tell you real quick what we did. He took a chicken breast and he seasoned it up. Yeah, he, he butterflied it. Butterflied. And um, seasoned it up with Weber's Kicking chicken, chicken Seasoning. Mm -hmm. Little he spicy. Put it in the air fryer. The Kasori air fryer. Our Kasori air fryer. While I chopped up the romaine lettuce. 16 minutes on 390 degrees. There you go. Uh, while I sliced up the romaine lettuce and weighed it out. And what we did, what makes this healthy, I don't know if you've ever tried this or not, but oh my goodness, Walden Farms Ranch. This is a Caesar dressing. I mean, a Caesar salad, but I'm going to tell you what makes it Caesar. But this is zero <laughs> carbs, zero calories, fat-free. Gluten-free. I mean, no added sugars. Uh, so. Very, very healthy. Very healthy. So, I mean, like you could drink the whole bottle and be okay. Um. But I put two tablespoons of this in the bottom of my bowl, along with one tablespoon of full fat, regular Caesar dressing. Yep. A Just good whatever one. Caesar dressing you want. And I put one tablespoon of that. Put Mar it, Marzetti? Yeah, Marzetti. I put it in the bottom of the bowl, mix the two dressings together, then put my romaine lettuce, stirred it up. Then he cooked the chicken and sliced it up. We put that on top, and then I topped it off with a tablespoon of, of regular Parmesan shredded cheese. <clears throat> He's going to taste it and see how it is. I'll taste okay, it, too. We'll both taste it. it. <clears throat> I'm always the... Look, look He's it's always a, the guinea pig. What's funny, this is a cool salad, so she'll taste it. Yeah, it's not hot. It's not going to burn her taste buds. <laughs> Here we go. Why have I not eaten healthy long before now? Who needs Applebee's? If it was this good. Well, we didn't. We didn't know about this. I didn't know about that. Yeah. 
We, we are usually a hidden mountain ranch. And just mixing the two, two tablespoons of this and one tablespoon of this. Woo! Oh. All right. So we're going to be throwing my, <laughs> my food at him. Okay. Well, we're going to sign out of here because I want to enjoy this because it is so good. And I, I feel like I should feel guilty for eating it, but I know it's healthy. So, all right, guys, we'll see you at the next meal. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I'm not sure what day this is because all these videos are not back to back. So, it's Monday for us, but I'm not sure what order we're doing them in because I don't film it every night. But... Take a look at that. Look at them big shrimp. We're videoing some of our healthy suppers that we have. And I know some don't want to actually watch me cook them, but maybe would like an idea of what we're having. So we're having shrimp fried rice, except it's not rice. It's cauliflower. It's riced cauliflower. And we're having air fried vegetables with a little bit of Parmesan crusted on them. So... Um, all I did was I steamed my cauliflower rice for the five minutes, just like the bag said. While I was doing that, I took my red Argentine shrimp that I got from Trader Joe's. The colossal size. Yes. Sauteed them up just pretty much in their own juices. I sprayed the pan, and but they were still slightly frozen, so it melted a little bit. So it gave them a juice um, and cooked them up. Then I added the rice in with the shrimp, put some reduced sodium soy sauce on there, and just a touch, because I could have a healthy fat today, I put just a touch of toasted sesame oil on it. Um, and then I just cooked my vegetables in the air fryer. So, oh, he won't want this. Yeah. But the food's already been blessed. I have to give it a little squirt. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that stuff. I like the soy stuff, so here we so go. So let's give it a try. All right. Mm. You wouldn't Those know, shrimp are good. <laughs> you wouldn't know it's not rice. Mm -mm. It's the same texture mm -hmm. as fried rice. And I'm telling you, them shrimp are good. Did you get a shrimp? Really good. What about the vegetables? Mm -hmm. And you can season those best veg <laughs> vegetables multiple ways. Mm -hmm. Any kind of seasoning you want. I just grab garlic powder and salt and mm -hmm. then a little Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, this is another winner for the healthy side of eating. You're talking maybe 500 calories here, maybe? Oh, if that. If that. I doubt that. So... Those of you that are trying to watch your caloric intake, this is a really, really good meal. And slow carb. Mm -hmm. So, No carbs, really. And for those of you that are on Weight Watchers, it's green. The broccoli's green. Does so that it's, mean it's, it's free? It's a free food. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've done white broccoli. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you at the next healthy meal. All right, guys. Good night. Okay, guys, I think this is night three of our suppers. It needs to go that way. I got it. Get you in the camera. How's Here we that? go. That's better. Is that more better? Yes. You can anyway, tonight's... Hang on. <laughs> I probably won't. Stop. Let's start over. You can edit it out. Okay. Go. Hey, guys, I think this is night three of night three. Green and Green Meals. This is just to give you some ideas. If there's anything you want to know how to make, just let me know. There's no green there. Oh, it's in the crust. Oh. I made our own, and you've got sauce that counts as a green. Mm. I made our own cauliflower crust. Um, I have, it's actually turkey, not chicken. And we're going to split. I'm going to give him two pieces of mine. He's going to give me two pieces of his. 
He's got pepper. Well, you're not supposed to eat yet till I say hang on. Oh, go ahead. Anyway, did you show him yours? Mm -hmm. With the piece missing? <laughs> anyway, so we're going to try this cauliflower crust. I've never made it from scratch before. Tonight's the first time, so we'll see first how time. it is. Here we go. How was it since you've already eaten? It's really good. <laughs> it's unique. It doesn't get as crispy as a traditional crust is. It's not as thick. Of course, you probably could have made it thicker. It would have had to cook longer, and I was hungry. It's really good. It's good. And mm. that was not. Oh, I just dropped all my stuff. That was not processed cauliflower. She took it raw head of cauliflower and made it. Use my food processor that came from 1960. That I got <laughs> at the auction for a dollar. <laughs> Sorry, my mouth was full. Ooh, mine's spicy. Imagine that. She always puts too much hot sauce. And y'all have been doing so good with my water, but tonight's pizza. So I'm bringing out the diet, Dr. Pepper. But I've been doing so good with my water. I better get a piece of his before he. This is over the top. Over the top? Here you go. You're here to put some of mine on yours. I'm not here. They need to see you try mine. No need to see me finish this. Mm. That's good stuff. And that's actually turkey pepperoni. Turkey pepperoni. Rayo's marinara sauce and reduced fat mozzarella cheese. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Mine is really good. Mine's turkey, Frank's hot sauce, a little bit of ranch, and mozzarella cheese. And mine, that one's spicy, but it's good. Too much Frank's hot sauce. Mm -hmm. I'll cut back on that a little bit next time. That's really good too. Mm -hmm. Y'all, for a fun night, family night, this is a great thing to do and not feel guilty about. I can eat pizza and not feel guilty about it. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you when we come back another night with another Lean and Green meal. All right, guys. See you on the next meal. Okay, guys, this is day four of our meals forgive my grandbabies that's okay it will just be real brief we're making this in here in the kitchen this is a taco salad made with the quest protein chips i've measured out i have mostly turkey meat on mine i did ask for just a scoop of bright's uh beef i could have had beef if i'd have had the low fat beef um but uh, I had some turkey left over from our pizza. So, I have a turkey taco salad. I've measured out my sour cream and my salsa. All, everything's measured on mine. And Bryant's is just made with the same stuff, just not measured out. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next night. Okay, guys, here is my lean and green for tonight. I have like a turkey kielbasa right here. And after I finish tonight's meal, I'll show you the package picture of what I used. You have to be sure to get low fat. And the only one I could find was Jenny O. I saw lots of turkey kielbasa stuff, but uh, or turkey sausages, but nothing that said reduce fat until I found the Jenny O. So I have two uh greens of broccoli right here um i find it really hard sometimes depending on what i'm having to get in all three greens so today when i had one of my shakes i added a green of spinach in there and um so i only have to eat two now so and as a condiment right here i'm using huh, my favorite G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. It is so good. Um, I haven't been feeling 100% today, so I'm in my pajamas, so I'm not turning the camera around. And I've struggled with my water today. I think this is the first day I've really, really struggled with my water. So, yeah, but we're gonna eat turkey kielbasa 
steamed broccoli, and some barbecue dipping sauce. It's gonna be delicious. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching all of my, well not all of my meals, I videoed the ones I could. So um, now we're gonna make the cauliflower pizza crust and let me tell you, it is so good and you only need three ingredients, so good. First, I've got my oven preheating to 425. Let me just tell you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a food processor or a fine grater. Um, you can do this by hand. I just choose not to because I cut my knuckles and my fingers when I use a grater. It just happens. So I'm going to use my food processor from the ancient of days. And y'all, that's the hardest part of this whole process is dragging out my food processor. Let me just show you how ancient my food processor is. Y'all. Bryant got that for me at a yard sale for a dollar. Mm -hmm. For a dollar, but it works perfectly. So, you're gonna need some fresh cauliflower, about half of a head. This is not quite a full half of a head, but pretty close. Um, you're gonna need a bowl or a plate with either paper towels or just something to, to wick up the moisture from the grated cauliflower. You're gonna either need two eggs or I'm gonna use egg beaters just because it's a little bit healthier. And some cheese of choice. You can use the reduced fat. Now remember, I'm doing this healthy, so I'm saying reduced fat. Mozzarella or pizza blend or some kind of cheese. And you're gonna need a baking sheet with parchment paper lining it. Okay, so. I'm just gonna cut my cauliflower head into, sorry, I'm jerking y'all around. I'm just gonna cut this up into, you know, fairly small pieces and I mainly just want the, the flowery part. I don't want a lot of the stalk just because it's harder to, um, I mean, you can get some of the stalk by all means, but um, and you definitely don't want any of this green part. So I'm just going to cut this up and I do a little bit in my food processor at a time. I don't try to do the whole thing just because sometimes it doesn't get all of it, but we're going to work on it, um, doing our best to get it, um, graded down. Okay guys, I've just put part of the cauliflower in. <laughs> Pretty good. Takes me a while to figure this thing out. I mean, it looks like a really thick, coarse fan. See there? Okay, I'm gonna put this in my bowl with my towel. Okay guys, I put the rest in it. <laughs> make fun all I want to that this thing is ancient but y'all it works <laughs> it works I mean it probably would have worked with me putting all of it in there but I just choose not to okay so I'm gonna pour this up in here and I'll bring you right back okay guys I didn't do this step the first time but I think this is gonna help a lot I just take my towel <laughs> the camera's floating. And I'm just going to give it a squeeze just to get out any excess. Look, I don't know if you can see. I'm ripping my towel too. I can feel it ripping. <laughs> but there's liquid coming out. And I think the drier it is, the better it's going to make into a um, pizza crust. All right, let me get my measuring cups. I'll be right back. 
Okay, y'all, so here is my cauliflower. I probably have enough to do two um, crusts. We'll see. And I'm going to get a cup. This is a half a cup. We're going to get a cup of the grated cauliflower. And I'm not having pizza tonight, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these crusts, and I'm going to freeze them. I'm going to put them in the freezer, and I'll have them ready at any given time that I need them. Okay, so there goes my cup of grated cauliflower. I'm going to now put in a quarter cup of egg beaters and a generous this is was I don't know what I said, but this is a fourth of a cup, quarter of a cup, and a generous quarter of a cup of mozzarella cheese. And I'm just going to take a spoon and mix it all together. You just want to get it good and mixed well. The egg beaters is going to hold it together. Now here comes the important part. Me, the important part. <laughs> hey guys, hey, do y'all see that good looking skinny wife in there? <laughs> I'm not skinny yet, she I'm just is, working on it. She's on the way down. I am on the way down. Drop her a comment and tell her how good she's looking. Oh y'all, you don't have to do that. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put this out here. Thank you, baby. Bye. Bye. Are you going now? Yes. All right, so we're gonna put this out here on our parchment paper and get all the goodness. Get stuff in the spoon. And you need to pat it out. Preferably in a circular. <laughs> in a circular um, design. And you want to get it thin. And you want everything touching. You don't want any straggly pieces or arms sticking out. And you want to get it pretty, pretty flat. But the main thing is just getting it even so that it cooks evenly. See these stragglers sticking out here? I want to get those in. And we're just going to keep pressing, keep pressing. And if you see any holes, go in and you can use your hands if they're impeccably clean. You can use your hands by all means. I think that's some of the greatest tools God gave us because you can actually feel what you're doing. You can feel any thick areas. You can feel anything that may need more in it. Okay, there we go. I have that pretty good right now. So as soon as my oven preheats as soon as my oven preheats see what it looks like kind of see the thickness of it um, as soon as the oven preheats we will I'll get you turned up here where you can see me we'll turn it we'll put it in the oven at 425 for at least 25 minutes now when those 25 minutes are up I'll bring you back because I want you to see me check to be sure it's ready but if it's ready, we'll flip it and bake it 15 more minutes on the other side. So just as soon as the oven is finished preheating, we'll get this in. And I will bring you back at the end of the first 25 minutes and let you watch me flip it. Okay, y'all, I just got it out of the oven. And it's gotta, we got to flip it and cook it again. So you just want to kind of reach around the edge and pull it away from the parchment paper. You, you might need to let it cool just for a minute before you do this. You just want to be able to easily get it up and flip it over. There we go. Alright, so it has been flipped. It's going to go back in the 425 degree oven for about uh, 15 more minutes.
Okay, y'all, so while it's finishing up the 15 minutes on that side, I'm gonna make my other one. You can put two in at the same time. I just wanted to show you the one and not worry about having two. So I'm gonna make my other one real quick. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, I will share, and after I get this out, I will share with you some updated numbers, tell you where I'm at, um, and tell you how things are going. Okay guys, here is what your cauliflower crust looks like when it comes out. And what you'll do now is you'll put your toppings of choice. You can do the buffalo turkey or buffalo chicken. You can do um, a quarter cup of Rayo's marinara, some mozzarella cheese, some pepperoni, a side salad, have a complete lean and green meal but you'll put the, whatever you want on it, stick it back in to melt any cheeses for about five minutes and you will have a delicious pizza. So there is your cauliflower crust pizza. So good. Okay guys, forgive the windblown look. I just had to take my brother. He brought the tractor back. He was doing some work for us and um, he needed me to carry him back to get his truck. <laughs> so I used the gator and got the windblown look. So for those of you who are wondering, what am I talking about this take it off Thursday? And I'm talking about take it off the weight. If you followed me any length of time, you know I have been overweight for years. <laughs> and so I've started this program that is I've started several programs to be honest, but this one I wouldn't even divulge what it was until I knew it was something I was going to stick to because I have started and stopped so many programs. This one has worked absolutely wonders for me. Um, <clears throat> it is the Optavia program, five in one program. And the concept is you eat five fuelings. These are fuelings that you buy from the company and you eat one lean and green meal. And then all of your meals, including your lean and green, they're all spaced two and a half to three hours apart. So you're eating every two and a half to three hours, which means I'm, I'm a little late for mine. But um, I'm actually going to have the creamy double peanut butter crisp bar. It's one of my favorites. And so I thought I would tell, give you an update. Now, I have not learned to be quite as strict as far as counting my condiments, counting my um, seasonings. Speaking of seasonings, you could have put some garlic powder in that uh, cauliflower crust, Italian seasoning, any kind of seasoning of your choice. We are supposed to count them as a condiment or whatever, and we only get three condiments a day. So if since I'm gonna be putting flavor on the top, I'm not gonna worry about wasting a seasoning condiment in there. But in all honesty, I have not become perfect at counting my condiments. So I'm sure I do go over. Um, <clears throat> so with that being said, I've been on it for, let's see, yesterday would have been 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 35 days. And in 35 days, I have lost, well, mon today is Tuesday for me. Monday is my official weigh-in day. So I weighed in yesterday. Let me tell you where I started. I started at 218 pounds and 8 ounces when I started this program. Now my highest weight is probably 225, 230. But at, I was 218.8 when I started this program. Yesterday I weighed in at 199.8, which brings it a total of 19 pounds. I did weigh this morning only because I kind of did an experiment yesterday with my fuelings and um, I have lost two more ounces. So, but right at 19 pounds in one, two, three, four, five times seven is 35. 35 days, so I think that's pretty good. And the last time I measured, which was over a week ago, I had lost close to 12 inches. So, with that being said, um, this program is working wonders for me. I do not get hungry. 
The only thing I have to think about is my lean and green meals. Um, and so I thought just every once a week, I would, I would cook my normal way or have try on hauls or grocery hauls or, um, coming up, there's going to be a video of me and Caroline sharing our favorite things for fall. Um, and so nothing's going to change except one day a week. I'm going to share with you what I ate for the week as far as my lean and green meals, because I know not everybody can afford this program. Not everybody can do this program. If you're sensitive to soy or whatever, um, although they do have soy free products. Um, for whatever reason, I know this program's not for everyone, but if you take what I'm eating for supper and, and maybe modify it and kind of do a similar thing for breakfast, lunch, whatever, um, you will lose weight because like I said, Bryant's not doing this, but he is eating what I'm fixing for supper and he's lost like 13 to 15 pounds. So I wanted to just take one day a week and give you an update on where I'm at and update you on what foods I've eaten. You may have two or three meals. You may have seven days of meals. Who knows? Um, and I may share my struggles. Like if I have a day that's just really rough or whatever, tips and tricks. I don't know. We'll do something, but, um, I'm going to eat my fueling. I love the fact that they call these fuelings because that's what food is for. It's to fuel our bodies and that has helped shape in my mind on how to look at food. So, I hope you enjoyed watching the cauliflower pizza. I hope you enjoyed watching all the things I ate over several meals. And I hope you enjoyed this segment. Take it off. It's going to be Thursday this week, so it's take it off Thursday. And I wonder how many, um, Crazy people, I'm going to get looking at that just because of the title. Take it off Thursday. Anyway, we're losing the weight. It's coming off. And let me tell you one of the struggles. Um, Bryant bought me last year for Christmas a new wedding ring, and it is absolutely gorgeous. But I was still attached to my other wedding rings, too. So I moved them to my right hand my old set to my right hand i wore my new one on my on my left hand um i'm starting to lose weight they it it began to fall off and i'm scared that i was going to lose it so i switched it over here to this hand but yet put it on my larger finger not my ring finger but the larger one and then put my my old wedding set back on my left hand well, it eventually became so big, it's fallen off of this finger, so I can't wear it at all. And now, my wedding rings for that have always been too tight on this finger are now falling off. <laughs> so, that's a downside to losing weight. So, got to get my ring sized. But anyway, thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife, where you're going to just join me on my journey of losing weight. And I'll be cooking normal normal stuff. In fact, I got a good cookie recipe coming up soon. And, um, so you'll enjoy all the good stuff along with the healthy stuff right here on the same channel. Ain't that cool? So thank you guys for watching the farm and pastor's wife. And remember the grease is hot enough. You can fry anything. Bye y'all.